In this last video on how to diagram categorical claims, I'm going to show you how to diagram the O claim. That is the claim of the form sum S are not P. Well, this is how we do it over here. So let's see how we get that. When we're talking about sum S or not P, we're saying, again, the sum stands for at least one, meaning at least one member of the S class is not in the P class. At least one member of the S category is not in the P category. And so this is going to be the region that we're referring to. Why? because this is the region that is S and not P. So if we were saying at least one member of the S class is not in the P class, the sum is represented by the X, and it has to go in that region. That's how we get this. At least one member of the S class and not in the is not in the member of the P class, and this is the region where the X goes. All right, that wraps up the last categorical claim. That's the O claim. That's the categorical claim of the form sum S or not P. Now, you need to know how to do all four of these standard categorical claims. You need to know how to diagram these correctly. We're going to need to know that because when we evaluate categorical arguments and categorical syllogisms, we're going to use these same methods to diagram the premises of these arguments, and then we're going to use that diagram as a visual representation of the argument to determine validity. So we need to know how to do all these correctly, so spend some time so that you know these very easily and don't make any mistakes, and then we'll be able to diagram the categorical arguments using the Venn method to determine validity.